Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Minutes with M&M. &M. I'm Nissan, that's Mena, and we're happy to have you back. Today we're going to be talking about sex education. Woo! <laughs> we're so excited for the fourth and final season. But yeah, we're going to talk about what we hope to see in the new season. And so we're going to talk a little bit about the last season, but mostly focused on our hopes and dreams. <laughs> no one's listening, so... <laughs> but if you are... <laughs> I mean, if you can just re-edit some things to align with our vision, that yeah. would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's get into it. I want to start with Eric because last season he said, I'm a Nigerian Yoruba demon and I'm going to demonstrate it right now. <laughs> and I guess what I hope for for him is actually happiness. So I know you didn't necessarily like him and Adam. She doesn't love the enemies to lovers. Well, no, actually bullies to lovers trope. And that's yeah. fair. But there was just something about Adam growing into a person that it was done so well. It was done, it so, was done well. so well. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it, but I enjoyed watching it and like it was very rewarding. And although I am so I'm heartbroken by their breakup, even though it was the right thing to do, I think for Eric for the reasons he said, but even the fact that Adam was just gonna forgive him, Adam was like it's okay. Like Adam is just so tied to um eric in a way that's not healthy especially at this age and you know dealing with the internalized homophobia he had and just growing into being a gay boy man um all of that it is probably for the best that at least they take some space if not a permanent breakup from each other yes and on that note i really hope that rahim and adam can be friends i'm open to more than friends but it would be nice for um adam to have you friends know, yeah friends <laughs> no you're actually right you're right and i agree but also i feel like it would be a little bit spicy if they were dating because i can't just imagine eric's reaction to finding out that his ex-boyfriends are dating and i think that would be hilarious eric is probably the funniest character on the show his humor slaps that being said i want him to be happy and if he wants to date which i want for him i want him to date and thinking about who his options are i mean anwar is there anwar is gay he's popular and from the first season he kind of like looked down at eric and was like oh i'm better than you but hey maybe maybe that's who his love interest is because i don't want them to bring in a new character when they brought in new I characters i just feel like why is eric always accepting scraps no but like edward didn't like beat him up or anything it wasn't like what adam was fully assaulting okay, eric him. deserves someone that like thinks of him as the son okay as you say that did you like him and raheem together no yes so <laughs> I don't want them to bring it because this is Eric's final season. Nkuti is going to be in Doctor Who. I am so excited, but he's leaving sex education. So I want his story closed up happily. I want to know that because he wants to date and be in love and be happy and explore all these things. So that's what he should get. If you're hearing me, writers, if that's not what you've given him, you have time to go and re-edit it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I don't want them to introduce someone new because like you said, when Raheem... I don't think anyone necessarily loved that pairing, even though on paper it's like, yeah, it's great that there's a guy that likes Eric immediately and he's not worried about... It wasn't giving. Yeah. Um... Also, I just want to see his dad again. I loved his dad in season one kind of growing and being like, all I want is for you to be safe and happy. And I'm glad we got to see more of his mom and all of that. But like, can we see your dad more before you go? Even if it's just to say, oh, I'm so proud of you. You're graduating. I love you. So for Eric... I want to see that his relationship with Otis continues to flourish. I want to see his dad. I want him to be happy in love. Mm -hmm. So just, I don't want to see Eric cry this season. That, that's what yeah. I have to say. <laughs> for Adam, I would love for his family to get back together and like kind of try to repair what they had, if they can. But if, it, if they cannot, I would love for him and his mother to get even more closer and like for him to be able to open up to her and like for them to just be happy together. So the second part, I want that. I don't forgive his dad. I'm sorry. I want his dad to be sad and lonely forever. That being said, the writers did a great job. I was very sympathetic to his dad while I was watching the last season and just seeing why he is the way he is. And you know what? I'm touched. You have your demons. You treated your son like shit and I don't give a fuck. You sent him to military school. No, oh, no. about that. Like, no. Know. Like, so no, I don't forgive you. I'm glad that you're growing as a person. I hope you continue to grow as a person and better yourself. Hey, maybe he's going to get the job as principal again since they're obviously firing my good lady who was talking shit about the students publicly but i don't want adam to feel like he has that relationship with his dad or That's forgive true. him like i don't want that i want him to just grow as a person and 
So I just want to shout out to this teacher who is going around pushing the students to be the best that they can be. So shout out to her pushing Maeve and saying, hey, you are smart, you're better than this, fighting for her to get back into school after she was expelled, fighting for Adam and saying you have value, you know, pushing him to do um, the dog walking thing that he was really into. Basically, shout out to her because some of these parents are not doing their job. So I'm glad that there is an authority figure in the kids' lives fighting for them. So yeah, Adam, I want him to figure out that he's not dumb and useless and he shouldn't hate himself and he can be so much more than he currently is and I think the writers I'm actually not worried about Adam's character development I feel like the writers are invested in making him a better person compared to the first so. season okay let's talk about Otis and Maeve so neither of us are really big Otis and Maeve show I just I really really liked Otis with Ruby I mm -hmm. think the Otis and Maeve thing is just it's overplayed for me and I don't feel as much I don't feel the chemistry at all it's just, uh, like it's I don't know what they are about and I, I get it like I understand like I really sympathize with Maeve right mm -hmm. yeah but I don't sympathize with Otis <laughs> so it's like it's really hard for me to watch him feel like it's complicated because well you, you're in love with a complicated person deal with it you know? I'm dead no I have some sympathy for Otis so Maeve's sympathy I have towards her is just general life shit like yeah. life threw so much fucking garbage at you and you've had to figure it out as a teenager and it sucks so bad. That being said, her actions do directly affect Otis and when you've picked other guys and said, you know, you made it clear that you see me a certain kind of way, I don't blame Otis for having feelings of frustration towards her because up until the end of season three or like mid season three, there was an aspect of me being like, I want you here so I can use you, use you the way I want to. And yes, it's clear that you have feelings for me, but I'm not reciprocating them, but I kind of maybe will one day, but actually I want to be with Jackson. Now I'm going to be with Simon. Like choose yourself. She should have choose. No, Otis. Otis should choose himself. Choose yourself. And because Maeve was always like this, right? She kind of was <laughs> always like this. I just, you're not surprised. It's, she was like this. And when he developed a thing with Ruby, I was so happy, so proud. I was like, yes, move on, be in this relationship. And then she said, I love you. Look, and then you. Look, I just, no. Sometimes it takes a while for the feelings to grow. He wasn't even letting it get there because he still had Maeve on his mind. And I'm so sorry for you. You can't be pining for someone for years. I'm sorry, no. Like, no. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I did feel so bad for Ruby, which is so surprising. The way I did a one eighty on her character last season. So she's also in the list of people that I'm like happy ending. It doesn't. I don't need a whole story arc for her. But even if it's just like a comment of you know, ever since I dated Otis, I felt more free to be myself, and now I'm happy with my new man. Girl, do your. Or even if it's oh, I'm going to uni to study politics. Like mm -hmm. I'm. I'm happy for her. I'm not happy what Otis did to her, but I do like that she was able to be vulnerable with him and like be a person. Yeah. So shout out to you, Ruby. I hope things work out. Yeah. So <laughs> what do we want for Otis and Maeve? For Otis and Maeve, I guess I'm assuming they're endgame. So like, let it be quick. I'm just, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want a lot of back and forth. Like Maeve is going to the US and she's leaving the show after the season. I think Otis is too, by the way, but I'm not entirely sure. So like, if you need to make them a couple, make them a couple i don't want to watch oh we're long distance oh maybe it's falling for someone else i'm insecure was i wrong let me have sex with this person no no eric what have i done no either they're together or they're not i don't want back and forth yep if anything what i want to see otis's story for season four is nothing to do with Maeve. i want to see his relationship with his mom because she has put them in a very horrible situation with the paternity situation with this baby. Um, they didn't confirm it. Also, if this season starts and we find out that the Scandinavian is actually the baby daddy, I'm going to be like, so what was the reason for all that wishy wishy? It's looking like the baby daddy is not the Scandinavian. I'm calling him the Scandinavian because that's how I think about him in my head. Um, which means that Ola just named this baby that she thought was her sister and had all of this emotional stuff about her mom dying for no reason. And look, I know everybody loves Jean, but she's so chaotic and she's such a negative energy as a mom in ways that I feel are overlooked because she's hot and she's funny and she's cool, but like you are destroying Otis's life. And I, I hope that's addressing a little bit. I know the whole thing is that like, oh, she's so smart and she's a psychologist and she understands all this stuff, but like, you're making mistakes with Otis that you shouldn't be making yeah. and you just had a new baby. And now Otis has to adjust to having a sibling that's a decade and a half younger than him and potentially losing Ola as well, who was just, again, his sister because his mom made them move in without asking him. Like, Otis's life has gone through a lot of turmoil mm -hmm. because of his mom. 
And if that baby's daddy is Otis's dad, that means you have brought this man's chaos back into Otis's life. So I think that's actually the conflict that I want to see. Otis dealing with the fact that Gene is just yeah. fucking with his life. Yeah, on that front, I do feel bad for him. On the relationship... Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 girl. You're a teenage boy. You couldn't wank, and now you masturbate all the time. <laughs> like, you're, you're fine. But yeah, like, it's just so messy. <laughs> like, it's so messy. Why? Like, Ola was Otis's girlfriend, and she became his sister. And now, like, what? But Jean, what? No, so I, I really hope they wrap it up in this fulfilling way which it can be because you know Otis had a lot of issues around his dad so maybe bringing his dad back into the story will close it out in a good way as long as and I said this for Eric Eric and Otis to continue having a strong friendship where they're there for each other that's it don't mess with their friendship don't do all those it's senior year we're going to different places we're growing apart I don't know no this isn't high school this is three look they better be rock solid and I want them to be involved in each other's stories I hate when like best friends who tell each other everything and then there's something going on in their lives and the other person doesn't know let's keep it up so that's that's what i want and Maeve, i want her to succeed yeah. i want her to get to the us and she's just crushing it in school and they're like here's a scholarship here's a thousand dollars her life has been so hard so for someone her age like oh that's a God. lot to do with please <laughs> no more trauma for me happiness yes. forever forever i'm fine with her coming back to the uk if it's a win for her i don't want her to leave america because it's too hard or because she misses a boy or because her mom gets sick and says come home and take care of me none of that if she's coming back to england i want it to be a, a triumphant return after a year of success I, I just, I cannot be more clear about this. <laughs> <laughs> so, winnings only. Mm -hmm. What do we want for Jackson? More screen time in a storyline that I enjoy. The Kyle storyline did not do anything for me last season. I don't feel like it really added anything. Although, shout out to Jackson's mom when he was talking to her about like, am I gay? And she was like, you're probably not, but it's cool if you are. Um, by the way, she's fantastic in Ted Lasso. We have a video about it. Check it out if you want to see her in a more prominent role in an excellent TV show. Um, but Jackson, I want him to get a storyline where I feel like he's developed. I think he got some of that in season two where yeah. we you know, dealt with his mental health and him not wanting to swim. But like, what does he want to do now? Last season, he was smoking weed with Kyle. Okay, you're a head boy and you were supposed to go to like get a scholarship for swimming or go to the Olympics. What are your goals now? It's senior year. So I want to see My that. goal is chewing. <laughs> Life mm -mm. is for the living. I'm sorry. You were a, 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 a record breaker. It's too much pressure. It's getting worse. I'm screaming. It's like, I just want to relax. Like, I don't need him to want to be the president or anything, but I do want to see where his life direction is. And in conjunction with that, I need his best friendship with Vivian to continue. Last season, it kind of paused Vivian's I feel like her whole storyline was supporting the principal, which was pointless, and Jackson's whole storyline was Cal and they didn't really interact. Yeah. I love them being close in season two. Same. And I'm fine with it being platonic friendship. I'm fine with them dating. I'm fine with either one because Viv's man is hot as hell. So if she's not with Jackson, she's doing good. It's a good girl. But I want them to interact. I want to laugh and I want to feel their friendship. And I also want Vivian. Vivian has worked so hard and put so much effort. And with what happened last season with her realizing that she was supporting the wrong authority figure, I'm scared that they're going to do hardworking, overachieving girl realizes that she's put too much effort into the wrong thing and like kind of falls apart in senior year. Yeah, no. No. I hate that story. No. What? No. Vivian and Jackson happy, spending time together, and Jackson develops as a character. Again, my assumption is that this season is ending with most of them like being like, I'm done with high school. So we don't have to know that their future is successful, but I want to see the groundwork la like layered for their success. Mm -hmm. I feel like my big request for season four is that these kids are happy and fulfilled, really. Yeah. Like, that's basically it. I don't think there's anyone I'm wishing a downfall for. There's some people I'm neutrally bad towards, e.g. Adam's dad, but there's no one that I'm rooting against. I would like to see Simon again, even if it's just... I don't have to see Even if we just get a throwaway line that he's doing well. I don't think what he did to me was that bad. Simon, I, Isaac, right? I'm not going to say Simon. Yes, Isaac. Um, I, I don't care that I deleted a voicemail. Why is another guy telling you his feelings for you when you date? I was even doing you a favor. What do you mean? They weren't dating. We were about to date. No, they weren't. 
No, they weren't. They were just talking. It was talking stage. Ex talking stage is the prelude to dating. Uh -huh. Talking stage is not marriage. I can do talking <laughs> stage with two different people. Why are you doing this? You should stand in your sauce. Uh, look, I, I stand decide. In your, in your light. Also, if he loves you so much, he can tell you in person. Why is he leaving a voicemail? Be a man and come and talk to me if that's what's going on. Okay, <laughs> but you didn't need to do that. That was just petty and selfish. And I'm. Just Am I supposed to feel moved? I hope someone does something so like I don't know. I don't know the word. Like if someone I was talking to t told me something like that, I wouldn't see it as a, oh you love me so much and you're willing to do this. I would see it as you took away my choice. That's true. But you know what? They're teenagers, and he admitted to what he did. Mm -hmm. It just, it's not because he couldn't also hold the guilt in his chest. <laughs> if he wants to do something contrary, do it and hold it. You know what? But everybody does shady stuff. Remember when Otis told Jackson to do a huge declaration of love because he thought that Maeve would hate it? His plan was to push Jackson down, but he didn't know that Maeve was actually a lover girl at heart. <laughs> and that's what she needed to say, yes, Jackson, I'll give you a chance. So he played himself. But yeah, I, I just want to hear that Isaac's doing well because he's also in a bad situation. Like he lives in the trailer park too, and with his brother taking care of him. Like, and it's frustrating because like Maeve, he's also really smart. So even if he's not a main character this season, I do want to hear like that something good is happening for him. There are lots of like minor characters. Um, I've never been a fan of Ola. I'm. I I got really really mad last season when she moved into um, Otis's place and she was just using his stuff. Yeah. I, like, I was so triggered. I was like, you didn't ask and you broke something and you're not even apologizing? It was insane to me. Like, how dare you? And everyone's telling Otis, like, oh, you have to learn how to share now. No, no. my stuff is my stuff. Your stuff is your stuff. You have stuff. <laughs> Use I, your stuff. That made me really annoyed with her. But I think she handled Lily really well last season where she was very supportive of her as a girlfriend. And then she was like... I'm not sure if everything is okay. This is a little bit more than what I signed up for. And I'm on her side because, you know, everybody should be who they are. But Lily was a lot, guys. Lily was... I was concerned because it seemed like she could not differentiate between, like, reality and fiction. And I understood Ola being like, I'm... We can't do this. I can't do this because at the end of the day, they are teenagers. Can you like? I don't know what I would do with this now, and I'm like basically thirty. Yeah. If I was a teenager and my girlfriend believed in aliens and was like writing sex work and putting it out there and expecting everyone to respond to it positively instead of realistically understanding that she would be mocked, I'd be like, I don't know if you're okay, but I don't think you are. Yeah, that was. She was legitimately surprised. <laughs> she was like, "Wow, people are not like engaged in my content." I'm like, "Yeah, Lily is." I, I don't know what the direction going with Lily's character is because I'm not sure what we're supposed to take away from how she does know. things. Maybe it's like be yourself no matter how weird you are and there would always be a niche that would accept you. Maybe she's going to finally get some online fans or something and publish something. I don't know. <laughs> but like, good luck to her. Like, I just, yes, like, honestly, I wouldn't even have no i would leave like, i would leave i no. think that's why it's a bit shaky because i think they they did that they went to look at the stars together or something like that and does that mean that they are good now or girl speaking of side characters queen amy um another character that i just want happiness for i love her her and Maeve's relationship. So yeah, I, I want to see more of that. Like they have been nothing but supportive to each other at every juncture throughout the show. Whether it's Amy giving Maeve money in secret or Maeve teaching her ways to stand up for herself or going with her and gathering girls to get on the bus. They have been each other's ride or die. And I need that. That's the shit I need for the final season. Yeah. I, I want Amy there telling Maeve that she can do anything she puts her mind to and she's brilliant. And I want Maeve telling Amy she can put her mind to anything and succeed at it because she just broke up with a lovely guy. But hey, it wasn't meant to be, it wasn't meant to be. And she's learning that she doesn't have to tie her self worth to sex and all that. Because I know in the earlier seasons, her first thing when she started dating him was like, she would fake stuff in sex. And he was like, no, 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 what do you like? Yeah. So I like that she's just been learning to put herself first and like that she has value as a person. And I, I hope to see that she gets into a cooking program where she's crushing it because my girl woke up one day and said i want to start baking and it's going well so i i want that for amy yeah same here <laughs> we haven't really seen much of olivia other than when she was hiding um the ethnicity of her boyfriend so her parents wouldn't know um 
I don't really necessarily have to see her character again, but I love Simone and Bridgerton. Watch our video, watch our video. Um, so if we see her again, maybe even as a support character for Ruby, since, you know, she and Ruby are best friends, I wouldn't hate it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there are any characters that we've missed that we care about. Watch us have left out someone huge and someone in the comment is like, how dare you? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. What do you hope to see in season four? Did you agree or disagree with any of our opinions? Um, as always, we'd love to hear from you. So comment down below and like, share, and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.